Joining us now for the final trade of the day is Paul Foster. He's an options strategist taking a look at the trade ahead of the Fed meeting, and it's highly anticipated we will see a rate hike. Are you seeing a lot of activity in the banks? Yes, yeah, some of the volume that is appearing in the call side in J.P. Morgan and Bank of America. And some of those calls are going to be 2 to 3% out of the money. They're not looking for a large price movement up on the upside, but just enough to capture some gains. All right, and so what do you see specifically in some of these stocks? Let's start with Bank of America. You know, in Bank of America, the call put ratio is 1.2 calls to about one put. And in those, it's going to be the September weekly calls, the September 31 and a half and 32 calls. And then in J.P. Morgan? In J.P. Morgan, the stock's trading near all-time highs. And it's the 112th strike and the 115th strike. And Citicorp, Citigroup? And Citicorp, also, it's on the put side. Now, this one is the one called about 1.4 puts. And in City, it's going to be the September weekly 85 and 84 calls. Do you have any inklings into why they're a little bit more bearish on City? And Citicorp, obviously, there's more issues on the balance sheet over the last four or five years, and they're looking for a dividend movement that hasn't occurred. Now, the banks stand to be the big winners. They will be the big beneficiaries with another rate hike because now they can charge more with interest rates. So do you think you're seeing a lot of the big institutional players come into the market on this trade? Yeah, the institutions are there, obviously. I think they're probably going to rate, raise rates by a quarter percent, but what will they do into the further autumn and winter months? So they're looking for more rates and they're stretching out some of that yield curve in their portfolio. Are you seeing sort of a, a big move of surge now? Hey, some of the traders last week were rolling positions into this current cycle, and some of these traders are also rolling positions into October and November, looking for the trend to continue upward. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Check out businessfirstam.com to find out where to see our entire show. And don't forget to like, follow, and share Business First AM.